Right, this time we're going to cover some settings in SharpCap. Uh, as you can see, we've got a screen capture here uh, showing SharpCap with the preview window and the controls for your camera. Um, we're going to cover the screen first of all, the preview screen. Um, first thing that you need to be doing is if you click File and Set Capture Folder, if you make a folder on your desktop, which is what I do. I just make, tend to make a folder on my desktop called, you know, or date it, just put my, the day's date on it. Um, set that folder, click OK. Your AVI is then when you're recording, it will go into that folder. Um, your next one is devices, obviously, this is your Philips SPC 900NC camera. Uh, options. Um, there's not a great deal to, to mess about with there until until sort of later on when you get a little bit more advanced with the with the software. Uh, capture now you can start when you actually start your capture. You can do it in a couple of ways. You can do it here, or you can do it here. And obviously, stop capture at the minute is greyed out because we're not actually capturing. Uh, that will light up when you you click start capture. Uh, object name. What you can do here is you can put in the object if you if you're uh, taking AVI of the moon you can put in lunar or moon uh, if you're doing Jupiter obviously just type Jupiter in there what it will do is when it saves your file into your folder it will give it that name it will add that name into the file name so that you know um, what it is I mean you know if you do a couple of targets in one night sort of uh, you know you do a little bit of moon and then you do a little bit of Jupiter you know which one's which then because you've given it a name uh, preview transform at the moment again um, we're not going to go over those too much um, they're, they're, they're really not necessarily until you get a little bit more advanced with it um, as it is at the moment I just want to get people taking half decent videos and, and converting them to, to good images uh, reticule that again is a little bit more advanced later on uh, if you get into drift aligning uh, the reticule actually puts in a rotatable movable reticule so that you can drift the line you mount. Uh, right, oh, it's the controls. Um, the first thing you want to be doing is seeing that, that, that your camera is listed up here. Uh, now, your compression, use YUY2 or U2 um, with or without you. Uh, it's, it's just the best compression method. Now, your frame rate. Nine times out of ten, you're going to use ten. Uh, rarely, you'll use five. If conditions are really, really good, you can drop it to five. Um, but you know, like I said, nine times out of ten, leave it at ten, and you're going to get you're going to get good results at ten. Don't ever go any higher than ten. Leave it at ten. Your resolution uh, should be six forty by four eighty, which is the the maximum resolution. Now we're just going to uh, cover a couple of controls. Um, exposure, uh, it's, it's actually shutter speed that, um, and at the zero setting it's about 1 25th of a second shutter speed, uh, if you move it up to 1, like so, you can see that the image has gone darker, uh, that's because we're on a, a faster shutter speed there, 1 35th of a second. Um, I'll come back to that in, in, in just a moment, but just so that you know what it is, it's actually shutter speed, although it says exposure, it's shutter speed. Gain, the all important gain. Um, when you first start off, leave it there at the, at the, at the sort of the halfway point for the time being, I'll, I'll come back to that one as well. Uh, backlight compensation, you don't use it, you don't need it, it's for if you're using the camera as a webcam and you're in a living room, there's a light behind you and it sort of it, you know, covers that side of it. Colour enable. Even though it's a slider, it actually doesn't do a great deal. It only turns the colour on and off. So if you remove it all the way over, you see it goes black and white. Move it anywhere else, it's in colour. That is the same as that, is the same as that, is the same as that. So just move it all the way over to the right. Gamma. Um, this, again, it's, it, it's, it brightens up the whole picture. Uh, but leave it alone. <laughs> Just leave it at the, the sort of the halfway point there. And if you notice while I'm making this video, you'll see some numbers coming up that are the settings which will come useful for you, and I'll tell you for why in a moment. 
uh, saturation, that is basically the amount of, of, of colour and vibrancy that it puts into your picture. I tend to leave that at just a little bit above halfway. Uh, about the now contrast again is a it, it's very very subtle the contrast and um, for the time being again leave it at the halfway point uh, later on when you want to experiment and stuff then by all means you know have a try try it this way try it that way see what suits you best uh, brightness again just leave it at the at the, at the halfway point uh, you don't need it don't use it. Um, I'm going to go back up here again now. If you put these settings in um, that, I, that I've, I've got shown now, and there you'll see where it says new. You can actually you can type in. You get another box opens as you click, which I'll just drag over there, and I can put in the um, let's, well, let's just call it tutorial, and click OK, and you can see it here. And it's kept those settings at where I had them. And you can click on set default, and that will now, when you launch your Sharp Cap, it will go to, it'll open up with those settings already set up just where they are. Now, when you come to start imaging, um, with the moon especially, it's really easy because it's just so bright that you, all this area, you'll just be white, all your whole screen will be just white. Um, Firstly, have a go at focusing. You'll probably find that uh, with the moon, you, you, you'll just be totally whited out. Um, now, what I like to do is I like to just touch the gain up a little bit with the moon first. Sorry, not the gain, the exposure. Um, turn it up a little bit, and you'll you'll see your image start to darken. You'll start to get a little bit of detail. Uh, you might even get up to sort of two uh, and get some detail coming. Then to tweak it to to sort of just get that right level of brightness that you want mess about with your gain and what I'm going to do in a, in a short while is I'm going, to, um, I'm going to upload a video that shows an API that's been taken so that you know you've got a good idea then of, of what you're looking for on, on this screen the sort of image quality that you want it um, right once you've, once you've sort of got you know you can see a, a modicum of detail because it, it's not too bright it's not too dark you just you know you're seeing a, a quite nice moon picture uh, then concentrate on your focus on your score and I mean really concentrate on your focus on your score um, you know there's an old saying crap in crap out which um, if, you aren't, if you aren't focused well to start with you're not going to clean up your image really really put some effort into your focusing spend five minutes even ten minutes if you have to just tweak your focus a little bit watch your screen uh, tweak it a little bit again and watch your screen because you, you'll notice uh, the, the, the focus sort of shifts a little bit anyway, whether it be a planet or the moon, you get you get these sudden parts where it, everything becomes crystal clear and then it just sort of goes a little bit hazy. Just spend some time with your with your focus and like and it will it really will make a difference to your results. Um, once you've got there, you've got focus, you've you you know you've got your, your shutter speed set up right, your gain set up right, then all you need to do is click on start capture and it'll start capturing basically you'll start making your video and you want to be looking for about about 90 seconds to start with uh, play around with 90 seconds and, and 90 seconds is okay for moon and it's okay for jupiter um, with jupiter it, it, you have to be a little bit careful because you get rotation errors starting to come in which is jupiter rotates that quickly that eventually you're going to get some blur because the, the, the planet's actually rotated a little bit on you um, you can usually manage sort of, you know, a little bit more than, than 90 seconds, but just, you know, like I said, play about with it again. I mostly use 90 seconds. With the moon, you can use a lot longer, um, because obviously the moon isn't rotating, although it is moving, so you need to try and be tracking, you know, fairly fairly well on it. Uh, but you can, you know, you can you can do a lot of seconds on, on moon, and, and again, it's a, bit, it's a case of experimentation. Uh, 90 seconds is sort of, if you say default, uh, you might give it a little bit more. Uh, and that's about it for the, for this one. Uh, like I said, I'll, I'll post up an AVI of of, a, of what you'll see in this screen next, so you can have a look and it'll give you an idea of what you're looking at. Okay, thanks for watching.